Good morning, everybody. Here I am today in this beautiful sunny winter day in Belgrade in front of the Hotel Yugoslavia where I have a meeting in a few minutes to, to teach you how to learn Serbian. For you who don't know me, I'm Tiago Ferreira, a Brazilian who lives in Serbia for around a year and a half and who's been together with a Serbian girlfriend for more than four years and a half and who has managed to learn Serbian. So a lot of people contact me asking me how did I learn Serbian uh, and they ask what kind of magic did you do Tiago to learn this crazy language well to begin with uh, I also thought it was crazy in the beginning and I thought it was impossible to learn it I would see how my girlfriend speaks it and how she writes in it on Facebook and stuff and I would just think wow I will never learn this language until that uh, and one day I came to Serbia for the first time and I had the challenge to try to communicate to my girlfriend's parents and family in Serbian since most of them didn't have didn't know a word in English so so I basically started learning those basic words how to say water food bathroom and things like that and uh, and little by little I started learning sentences and stuff and it was a very a funny experience because I really couldn't uh, couldn't uh, say the words and it was really complicated for me but uh, but I progressed little by little uh, when I went out with my girlfriends and her friends for example uh, we I was also I was always in a very funny situation since uh, they would speak English for like five to ten minutes and then they would start speaking Serbian non-stop until the end of the night and I would often get mad at my girlfriend for thinking that her friends were rude and they didn't include they didn't want to include me in the conversation but the whole thing is that uh, I, after a while I realized that the, the, the I was I was the one to blame since uh, I was in their country and I had to adapt I had to speak their own language I couldn't force them to speak a foreign language just because of me uh, so later on uh, whenever we went out on the streets, I mean, for the very first day in Belgrade, I, I always wanted to uh, order things uh, to ask for information in Serbian, and my girlfriend was always there to help me. Uh, I still remember on the first day, the first thing that I learned how to say was uh, to ask people to take a picture of us, and uh, she taught me like this, Dali možete da nas likate? To me, that was like impossible. Every time I, I approach someone to ask that, they would like start laughing and they would think it's funny. Uh, but that didn't that didn't uh, stop me. I uh, I started I started from there and then I learned a lot of other things. And uh, and from there, basically every time we went out, my girlfriend made me order things and ask for things. And uh, it was very funny and interesting to, to learn my first words in Serbian but still I didn't believe I would ever actually learn the language until I came for the second time to Serbia and uh, I bought a book of Serbian for foreigners and I actually started using this book and teaching myself how to speak Serbian it was a very uh, tough thing because I was in Brazil and uh, there uh, there are not Serbian I mean teachers of Serbian so I had to really uh, do it at my by myself uh, with the help of my girlfriend of course and uh, then uh, I, I basically dedicated myself to it I put a lot of effort to it and uh, after I don't know six months when I finished the book uh, I already knew the theory of the language I knew the structure the grammar rules but of course I still made a lot of mistakes. I knew exactly how to use the, the declinations, the padeji, and um, but I still, in practice, I couldn't use it because it's a very hard. It's a lot harder to actually use it when you communicate than when you're studying. So um, it was a very good thing that I bought this book. It was crucial, I would say, uh, to understand the language, uh, to know exactly what I'm speaking, and when I came to live in Serbia I could already communicate to people in Serbia and I could already understand what people were talking about of course I made a lot of mistakes but it's amazing how uh, when I since I, I decided to only speak to Serbians in Serbia 
I could see the progress over the months. You know, when months were passing, time was passing, I could always see my progress. Of course, today I master Serbian, but I still make some mistakes. I'm still not like a native speaker of Serbian. But I see I'm a lot, lot better than when I started. And I think that's thanks to the thing, the fact that I actually went out of my comfort zone and I really wanted to learn, I was motivated to learn. So I decided to speak to Serbians only in Serbian. And um, it didn't matter how bad I knew it in the beginning and how, how, how much I sucked in, in saying all those bad, those, those, uh, those tough words, those different words without vowels and stuff. Uh, and, and those declinations, I made a lot of mistakes. I spoke Tar Tarzan Serbian, you know. And, but, but the thing that I, the fact that I went out from my comfort zone helped a lot. And another thing, a tip that I'm gonna give to you guys is that when you're learning Serbian, use uh, messages, emails, Facebook, whatever. And uh, when you, you know, send a message to a Serbian person, try to write it in Serbian. When you're writing, it's much easier to communicate than when you're actually speaking because you had the time to think. You can always use a dictionary, you can always use a translator on the internet and uh, it's gonna be, it, it helps you a lot, trust me. A lot of people are against translators, but I just think if you use it on the right way, it can be very helpful. Uh, and um, basically, uh, you just have to make a lot of effort and dedicate yourself to it. It's not magical, it's not anything uh, that's gonna come out of nowhere. You have to dedicate yourself and put a lot of effort and um, communicate. Before you know it, you're gonna be speaking Serbian and you're gonna be amazed. Until today, I'm always amazed when I go out on the streets and I actually understand what people are talking about and I can actually communicate to them in Serbian. Uh, another thing I, I would like to mention in this video is that uh, learn Cyrillic. I mean, it's, the Cyrillic alphabet is not, it's not hard to learn at all. Uh, I today give classes of Serbian to Brazilians and, um, and, and from the very first class I teach them Serbian and it's always amazing how in the beginning they are very scared, they think they're never going to learn it and on the second class they can already read it and write it. It's not complicated because every letter in Cyrillic has an equivalent in our alphabet so you just have to learn how to, which one is equivalent to which and uh, pretty much like that, you know. So yeah guys, I think uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. Subscribe to my channel to see more. Watch other of my videos to see how I speak Serbian and maybe it, it will help you to learn as well. So see you guys next time.